Hi friends, I'm in my motorhome. It's been a busy few days getting the motorhome ready to go. I think we left off in our travels in the last video at this rest stop, which is east of Tucson, Arizona. Lynn is having a little respite. We're stopping overnight at our cousins in Tucson, and we went and got a flu shot at the pharmacy. The next morning, we hurried on to Salome, Arizona, which is about 30 miles east of uh, Quartzsite. Our RV was stored there near an aircraft hangar, and my friend Steve let me drive his... I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's part um, Volkswagen, part dune buggy, part razor, part contraption. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> What's this? That's the water company. Hello. All right, well, see, there he is. All right. There it is. Okay. Give me two cents. <laughs> oh, no, I got a rock in my shoe. Oh, I can't clutch the rock in my that's shoe. The, that's the worst part of Jesus. this thing. Yeah, you can't do it. Yeah. Good. Really? That rock, look how good that rock was. Yeah, no lie. Okay. All right, here we go. Now. Stock Volkswagen and a homemade buggy. Okay, I got a clutch. What's this switch for? Uh, don't worry about that. That's the What's headlights. The That's the turn on and off. There you go. Oh, oh you got it. Okay. You got it? Four on the floor. Yeah, four on the floor. First, second, third, third fourth. fourth. Neutral, down, and back. Neutral. Okay. Got it. That's first. That's first. Or second, or third, four. Yeah, oh, you got it. All right. We're going on the road or back the other Don't way? Don't matter, whichever way you want to go. Oh, back the way we came, huh? Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's already in a days and we arrived at this peaceful spot north of Williams on the property of some other friends. Hi friends. 
First time I've said hi, friends, from the Arizona desert. We are north of Williams, Arizona, at some friend's property. And uh, it's a very dusty road coming out here. We have four miles of this kind of road to go through. And uh, I wish you could see what's behind me. It's a cloud of dust like you can't believe with my motorhome and Jeep back there. It's making a really big cloud. This is a dirty Jeep. They all have leaf blowers out here just for this purpose, blowing the dust off of things when you get here. You can see uh, I've been working on some things. Put a new scissors on my door. Got my ladder out there. Uh, all of the RV and the motorcycle have already been blown off. Um, the dust out here is pretty bad on the way in and out, but the property owners out here have put down gravel pads for their RV friends and uh, that's keeping the campsites cleaner. The new Jeep ran great all the way from Texas. Uh, the speed limit on the freeway in Arizona is, or in Texas, is 80. Cruise control at 85 at PERS. Uh, this is a charcoal gray. <laughs> right now it looks like Arizona dirt. Anyway, uh, so far we're real happy with it. The parts didn't come to hook it up to the motorhome, so we had to uh, jerry-rig it. But we made it work, and I spent $42 for a drill bit. To found a guy with a drill press, and we made the parts that used to haul the Suzuki pull the Jeep. Anyway, this is our... Uh, it's our spot for a couple of days. Still need to sell the motorcycle. Well, my little Honda motorcycle is sold, and it's very sad. I never rode it much, but my dad carried that around on his motorhome in the 1970s. And I never rode it much, but uh, it kept me ever mindful of who got me started in this RVing thing. Talking about the religion.
Oh, the release. I forgot about Pull the release and twist the handlebars. I thought it would be better that way, but it's not. There you go. That did it. Oh, you're going to get all the way in. There you go. That'll okay. put it right in. You're right there. there you go. I believe you're in, aren't you? We work close. Oh, I'll I, make sure you can shut your door, you honey. Let's go your seat forward a little. Let's see if you can shut your door. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, is it tight? That's as tight as I... Adios, little Honda. Miss ya. But it's time to make room for this, a three-wheeled electric tricycle. It reminds me of the riddle of the Sphinx, which is what walks on four legs, then two legs, then three legs. Man crawls on four, walks on two, and in old age uses a cane, which makes three legs. The riddle of the Sphinx. It's time for me to have three wheels. I bought Lynn a wheelchair. Well, she doesn't like me to call it a wheelchair. It's not a wheelchair for a person to wheel themselves. It's called a transport chair. We're going to go up to the Grand Canyon. We're very close to the South Rim. And... Uh, watching other people's videos, I've figured out there are several miles of pathway along the South Rim. And Lynn can walk, but she can't walk a long distance, so I'm going to get my exercise pushing her. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> I'm doing when I should smile. My one sighting of the Colorado River at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Which row are you in? I'm really, really, really close. We drove through the campground at the south rim of the Grand Canyon and ran into this girl. Didn't seem to be bothered by me. Probably quite used to people paying no attention to me whatsoever. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.